up, nail friends? It's Sarah here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a haul for you. So today, I've lost a few videos. It's very sad, actually. So I was like, I'm gonna refilm this video. So today, I was getting things ready, and I spilt my tea all over my laptop, which was sitting right here in front of this, right before I was about to film this video. And I had a video on there, on Final Cut Pro, that I didn't save. So now my laptop is broken, and that video is gone. So now I lost three videos today, but I'm not gonna let that stop me. I'm still going to film this video and yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so the other day I went to Michael's and I grabbed a bunch of flowers. So the reason I did that was because I like to use these kind of flowers as not only my background in my studio, but I like to use them for cutaway clips and they were buy one, get one free for the stemmed plants. So I did these pretty ones over here, and then I also did these two different types of sunflowers. So this one's kind of a dusty rose color, so pretty. And then inside it has these crystal crystal bulb. I thought it was really pretty, so I ended up getting four of those. They're in my bouquet over there. So I just have the one here to show you guys close up. And then I also got a red one, and the reason I got these is because I just thought they gave such nice fall vibes, which is what I'm going for right now, and I really like the red. So. That's what I got for the flowers, and they were a good price, so that's why I got so much. I ended up going for these white maple leaf ones, because I thought they'd be great for fall designs, and uh, I could also use them at, in the winter, so that's why I got them. Okay, so I also got in one of these awesome carts. You guys can kind of see the top here. Um, so Talia from Talia's Nail Tail uses these, and they're very handy. So I have a desk here that I use a lot for filming and it gets too cluttered so I wanted to put some of my favorite usable nail stuff that used to be on my desk into here. So I'll do a little film of what's inside here for you guys and yeah I'm really liking it and it works really well for my little studio here and it sits really nicely against my desk. So I got one of those and I'm really happy with it. Um, they have a few colors. They have like a light blue, a lilac, they also had a rose gold, but I went for white because I think it suits my studio a little better. Also from Michaels, some paper pads. So I went down to Michaels and I originally went there because I wanted to look for some Halloween stuff. So I didn't find any Halloween stuff, but luckily I did on Amazon. So I'll show you guys that in a bit. But I got some of these new paper pads. I'll show you guys what's inside that. This first one I got is called Pretty in Ink. And I liked it because it has all these pretty watercolor pictures in it. And I thought it would just be not for uh, for Christmas or not for Halloween or for fall or anything, but just in general, I liked it. So this is just a general one I got. Isn't it cool? It's very, I don't know, it gives me a lot of inspo. Tie dye, ooh, this one's really cool, hey? But yeah, I really like this one. So that's at Michael's right now. They didn't really have a lot. I don't know if they're just low at the Michaels I met, but yeah, they didn't really have a lot that day I went in. So I really like the pretty in ink. So what I was originally there for was the Halloween ones, but I also was looking for some uh, fall ones so I could do more fall compilations for you guys. So I found this one, which is called the Pumpkin Vines. And Talia actually showed me this one. I really like this one because it has, I don't know, it's just like unique. Blue and gold and white, just really pretty. So I'll show you guys some of the ones in this one. So all these paper pads seem to come with, with doubles, which is nice for if you spill on them, which I spill a lot in my studio. So yeah, it's always nice to have doubles. So yeah, a lot of this one has some dark ones, but I really like this one. Sometimes the dark ones are hard to film, but right now it's not, I don't have a glare or anything. So it seems to be fine with my lighting setup. Ooh, that's really nice. Cool. Yeah, so this one will be really great for autumn designs and maybe like some like chill Halloween designs, we'll see. So that was called Pumpkin Vines and I really like that one. Okay, so the next one I got was called Fall Tapestry. So I like this one because it's kind of like really, really pretty fall vibes. Oranges, got that like, ooh, I like this one, green. Ooh, yeah, I just really into this kind of like fall vibe one. And the last one I grabbed from Michaels is called Christmas plaids and I like the plaid stuff because you can use them at any time it doesn't have to just be Christmas and these ones aren't that Christmassy so I thought I could use this in the fall as well for fall compilations and stuff but yeah got tons of different plaid designs for backgrounds can never have too many backgrounds 
Okay, so that's what I got from Michael. And I also got more books, so let's go to Amazon now. So I decided to plan ahead and go for some snowflake ones for winter. So this one is called Snowflake Ridge Kit. And this is just a couple ones, so I'm not gonna use this one. But it's just a couple of them. So it's not like a big book like the ones at Michael's. So this is doubles of these ones too. But I thought it'd be great for when I start doing some stuff in the winter. I always film ahead of time for, for winter and, and fall and, and Halloween and stuff. So. But yeah, I really like this one with the snowflakes. See, this one you can see the shine of the ring light. So that one might not work so well. But yeah, I thought that, that would be good for planning it. Okay, so since Michael's didn't have any Halloween books, I ended up finding this on Amazon. So this is like the uh, the Christmas one, but it's a Halloween one called Dark Hollows Kit. And oh my God, I think that this one is so cool. That's gonna be so cool for compilations. I won't use that one again, but look at that. So cool. I really, really like this paper pad. And this one. I really like this one. Yeah, and there was a couple different things to choose from on Amazon. So, if you guys are looking for paper pads, check out Amazon too. I really like that one. Okay, one more paper. <laughs> I got a big Martha Stewart pad. This has 48 sheets. And this is full of Halloween-y ones, which is exactly what I wanted. A lot of black, but it doesn't seem to be affected by my lights yet. It's not too sheer, but I really like this one with the gold. Oh my God. This is cool. Ooh, marble spider web. Look at moth. This can be really great for my compilations and stuff. I'm excited for Halloween nails now. Snake skin. There's some marble, like water marble, it looks like. I think there's some more marbles. Ooh, I like the bats. Ooh, see the white marble, but it's like creepy looking, which is the point. And then look at that. I like that one. I like that these are not being affected negatively by my lights. So, yeah. And then there was this one with the moons. So I'm really happy with these books. And so, yeah, if you can't find anything at your local Michaels, then check out Amazon. And I'll link these down below if I can find a link for you. Speaking of Amazon, what else I got from Amazon? I picked up one of these little phone case holders. So your phone goes on it and you stick it on your desk and you can turn it like this. And then you can use it to do hands-free Instagram stories, which is really great. But the problem I have with this, it took an extra two months to get to me and then when I was asking the person about it, they just ignored my emails. It did end up coming though, so at least it came. But keep that in mind. I'll link it down below, but keep it in mind that it did take forever to get here. So yeah, helps to do hands-free stories and stuff. And it's just kind of like, could sit on my desk while I'm doing work on my, my laptop. That's rest in peace, rest in peace laptop. But yeah, so that's why I got that. Another thing I got for my studio office here is another Archon mount. So I use an Archon mount on the side. You guys just can't see it because it's out of frame. And I use it for my overhead light. So I got another one here because I really wanted to start filming three camera angles. So forward, overhead, and then I wanted one right over here. And then I want to use my vlogging camera here to, to film product pickup. So when I'm like doing liquid to power ratio and stuff, so then I could do all three. So I feel like that's going to be a lot of work, kind of ambitious, but that's why I got it. Or I don't know. I just, I thought I needed another tripod. I have three cameras. So I went for that one because I like it. The only thing is it's better to use them for these tiny cameras. Um, I have a DSLR on my other one, but I have to use an actual five pound weight to hold it down so it doesn't tip. But if you don't mind doing that, then, then you can use a DSLR on it. Anyways, I like that and that's what I got. Okay, I got these stiletto swatch sticks in clear. Talia from Talia's Nail Tales was posting a story one day and I woke up at like three in the morning and saw it and I was like, I'm gonna order that. So Sleepy Me ordered, I think I ordered like 10 packs of them. 
um, on Amazon. So yeah, they're really great. They look really cool. Um, and I really want to switch all my colors to these, which is a lot of work. So I don't know if I'm going to do that, but I would if I swatched my entire collection again, which I haven't really done for you guys because it's all new. It's like glitter belt stuff. So I was thinking about doing new swatches and then filming it for you guys, but only if you guys be interested. So let me know if you guys want to see my entire glitter belts, acrylics and gel swatched. Anyways, they also have white and black. Only problem that both myself and Talia had off the lot that we got was that they have kind of these scuffs on them. I don't know if you're going to be able to see in my overhead camera here. Um, I don't know. But they do have some scuffs on them. I don't know if it'll look bad or affect it. I haven't used these swatch sticks yet, but I'll let you guys know in if I remember to. But yeah, I'm excited about these. Okay, so that was from Amazon. Okay, I got something else really cool here. Uh, I don't know what to do with this. So I just got this in. I went to, okay, so you guys know I love those crystal dishes for my monomer. So I went to HomeSense the other day with my friends and I came across this amazing jar. I don't know what to do with it, but it's so sparkly and beautiful. So I wanted to bring it into my nail studio because I like crystal-y things and I wanted to stick it on my desk or in my cart or on my background or something. Not sure yet what do you guys think I should put in this. I already have like swabs and stuff in a different spot so I'm not really sure it's too big to put monomer in so I won't be doing that <laughs> what if I stick my acrylic in it my clear acrylic I don't know I don't know yet <laughs> I could always pour my acrylic directly in and use it as an acrylic I don't know I don't know what do you guys think let me know down below what I should do with this Okay, so in my last Etsy haul, I was missing a couple things that I hadn't got yet, but I wanted to film the video anyway. So I thought I would just show you guys these and then I will order some new stuff on Etsy and show you guys the new stuff from Etsy in another Etsy haul. Okay, so this is from a place called Nail Art Fairy. I will link this down below. But this is what I ended up getting. Tiny little like 3D kind of embellishment shapes, but they're, they're not too big or anything. Kind of flat these will be oh, this is really cool i gotta use these what do you guys think of these look at these aren't they so cool but yeah these will go on the nails kind of like little charms i guess you can stick them inside gel you and then maybe you could put them uh yeah on top of the nail i'm not sure how i'm gonna use these but i thought they were really pretty and they have stars and moons metal flat things that you can stick inside the nail they're so thin and flat so they'll be easy to encapsulate. So I got these hearts. So there's kind of like a rose gold, kind of copper in there and gold. I thought these were so cute. Cannot wait to use the hearts. And like this tiny package, there's so many in here. And then I also got, oh, so cute. So I did the same thing, but there's like copper and gold and they're tiny stars. Aren't they cute? So cute. Okay, and then I also got, I don't know why, because this Etsy haul was like a while ago. <laughs> but I got tiny little, um, they're tiny little teddy bears. I see them in the package. Okay, that's cute. And then I also got these, holy big package. Also got these holographic triangles. I thought these were cool. I'm sure I could come up with something for a nail design. One more package from Etsy. Okay, so this package is from SWU Nails, and I will link them. And again, I'm kind of into the moon and stars theme right now into that so I got this really cute gold sticker set of moon and stars easier to see out of the package there but cute hey oh my god so cute and they have like the constellations and stuff I'm gonna use this in a compilation video soon so cute okay so that was that okay cool I really really like those the next one are these um, pineapples so I thought these would be really really cute summer's over so Okay, the next thing I got are these. Okay, they're just like little dragon fruit <laughs> stickers. I just want a lot of nail art to do cool compilations with. So that's why I got that. I thought those were so cute. <laughs> why not, you know? So I got these for, like I said, thinking ahead. These are little antler ears. You guys probably might not be able to see them very well on my overhead camera. Little antler heads. Something for Christmas, just thinking ahead. And then these are little butterflies that are kind of like sticking up here. I wanted to show you guys was some Glitter Bells Loose Glitter. 
so I pulled these into my collection from my store, the Nail Throne, and I wanted to show you guys which ones I grabbed. So I grabbed some of these ones kind of for fall vibes and because I'm going to be doing a lot of Halloween stuff soon. So I just wanted to show you guys what I grabbed for my collection. Okay, so, for the, so the first one up is called Onyx. So these come mixed, fine, chunky, and mixed, fine, chunky, oh, medium, in medium. So this one is a mix. This is a black satiny shine glitter. It's not really like shimmery or matte, but it's got like that satin shine to it. All different sizes of glitters. Thought that'd be perfect for winter, or I mean Halloween. Some other dark ones I grabbed. I think I showed you, I don't know if I showed you guys this one yet, but this is Chameleon Mix, and I thought this would be great for Halloween. Look how pretty that is. Gives me such Halloween vibes. It's that green and black and kind of orange uh, color shift glitter. And this one is the medium one, so it's all different sizes. I also have in the fine one, and the finest, oh, I can't wait to show you guys the fine glitter in a, I have a, I have a compilation video where I use the rouge fine glitter, which I'll show you guys right here. And, and it is so fine. It just was like so soft and it wasn't, it didn't stick up at all. Like look how fine these glitters are. I'll stir this. I just, they're so fine. I've had sugar glitters before, but they're never this fine. Another glittery one I grabbed was Shadows Chunky. And this is kind of like a black, but it's also kind of like a gunmetal. And this one's just chunky, so it doesn't have sizes in it. It just has that uh, one chunky size. So these can be used inside acrylics or gel or gel polish. So they're very versatile because they're not mixed with anything, just loose glitter. So this one I thought would be pretty. This would be great fall kind of pretty one this is one called glow chunky and it's like an interesting one because it's not really rose gold or gold or champagne it's kind of like a peachy champagne color it's very very pretty and unique so i like that one okay i also grabbed a medium glitter here called amethyst this is such a beautiful color and i really like the medium glitters they're good for sugar nails as well. So not just the fine glitter, but these look really cool for sugar nails. But I really like this purple. It has no other colors in it. It's just the dark purple. It's not like holographic or anything. It's really great. And then I have three kind of clear crystal-y ones. So I got opals medium, quartz medium. So let's look at these two, opals and quartz. So this is opals medium. And then this one's quartz medium. So opals has that kind of blue color shift, rainbow, but uh, quartz has kind of like that green and pink shift. So very pretty. And for opals, I also have the mixed version here to show you guys. So it's got a mix of, so it's got a mix of glitter sizes. So fine and chunky and different shapes and stuff yeah so that's what i grabbed for the loose glitters for this month okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's my second time filming it so i hope it turned out here um if you guys like this video uh please give me a thumbs up make sure you share with someone you think would like it uh if you guys like hauls let me know down below maybe i'll do some more i always get new stuff into the studio if you guys want to see my new studio let me know too because i have a new space <laughs> I haven't shown you guys it. So if you also want to see me swatch my entire collection, let me know down below. Thanks so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next one.